Imagine if you could know the future just by crunching some numbers. It would be quite a superpower. From what we understand, most physics laws are fundamentally reversible. This means that if you reverse the direction of time in the equations, they remain valid, and the physical laws they describe still hold. So people have wondered, could these equations be used as a kind of crystal ball, able to predict events in the past as well as the future. Is the universe fundamentally predictable? Or does chaos theory and quantum mechanics ensure that nature will always hold some cards too close to its chest? In this video, we're gonna answer this big question and I'll give you my take on it as well. Get ready for a wild ride through physics explained in plain English. That's coming up right now. A few hundred years ago, physics was the success story of science. Sir Isaac Newton found that his laws could not only explain the motion of apples, but also planets. This led to an enticing idea. If the universe runs on physical laws, maybe it's like a giant clock, a machine ticking along. The ultimate expression of this idea came from Pierre Simon Laplace. He imagined a super intelligent being now famously called Laplace's demon, who knows the exact state of every particle in the universe, every position, every velocity. If this demon had Newton's equations and unlimited brain power, it could use them to compute the past and the future of the entire universe with perfect accuracy. In Laplace's words, the present state of the universe would be enough to calculate its future state exactly. In theory, the universe would be totally deterministic, like a cosmic clock, where every tick follows from the one before. There would be no surprises whatsoever. This clockwork universe idea seemed plausible. Physics equations were incredibly good at making predictions. For example, using Newton's gravity equations, the astronomer Edmund Halley predicted that a certain comet would return in 1758, and it did, right on time. This was a big deal. It was one of the earliest tests that showed Newton's physics could predict an event decades in the future. Even today, we use classical physics to predict things, like solar eclipses in planetary orbits years or centuries ahead. It feels pretty close to fortune telling. If you know where everything is and how it's moving, Newton's equations let you calculate where things will be later on. It's no mystery, it's just math. So classical physics gave us hope that the future is written in the laws of nature, waiting to be calculated. So let's do this. What's the problem? I'll explain that in detail, but first I wanna thank our partner, CyberGhost VPN, for sponsoring and making this video possible. Prying eyes are watching your every move online. Your internet service provider, your school, or your work's IT department, and even your own home Wi-Fi router can track what you do online. Even incognito mode doesn't prevent this. And that's where CyberGhost VPN comes in. They help prevent this kind of invasion of your privacy. All you do is elect one of their 100 plus locations before you browse. This encrypts and reroutes all your traffic through their secure servers. This way, no one can ever know about your online activity. Not only that, CyberGhost also unlocks geo-restricted games and content from over 40 streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Disney+. Plus. You might even score better deals online by simply changing your virtual location. With over 38 million users worldwide and over 20,000 excellent reviews on Trustpilot, it's one of the best VPNs out there. It works on all major devices and operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and you can protect up to seven devices at the same time, so you can share it with friends and family. Just click the link in the description to get their best ever deal. Just $2.03 a month, plus four months for free, which is 84% off. There's even a 45 day money back guarantee, so you have literally nothing to lose. It's a great product and a great value, and here's a personal appeal. By signing up using the link in the description, you'll help us create more videos like this. I really appreciate your support. And now, back to the question, if physics equations are so good at making prediction, what's the problem? Well, there's a catch. It turns out knowing quote unquote perfect information about every little particle is practically impossible. And even if you could know it, some systems are so sensitive that tiny uncertainties can explode into huge differences. Enter chaos theory. 
It doesn't mean pure randomness, but unpredictability within a deterministic system. Even with completely deterministic Newtonian physics, certain systems are incredibly hard to predict in practice. A classical example is the weather. Weather follows the laws of physics, fluid dynamics, thermodynamics, etc. So you'd think if we had enough data and a big enough computer, we could predict it far ahead. In reality, weather prediction hits a wall beyond roughly two weeks. Forecasts become useless. Why? Because the weather system is chaotic. A tiny difference in initial conditions, famously a butterfly flapping its wings, can lead to a totally different outcome down the line. This idea is often called the butterfly effect. Technically, it's sensitive dependence on initial conditions. Even though the weather obeys deterministic equations, in practice, you can't measure the starting conditions perfectly enough to predict the distant future. Edward Lorenz, the pioneer of chaos theory, showed that improving your measurement doesn't indefinitely extend your forecast. There's a finite limit to how far ahead you can predict some systems. For weather, that limit is on the order of weeks, not years. Similarly, lots of systems in nature are chaotic. The turbulent flow of water, the stock market, can be chaotic. So even though Newton's equations are deterministic, our ability to use them as a crystal ball is limited. Chaos is nature's way of saying, oh, you think you're so smart? Predict this. So the glitch is deterministic doesn't always mean predictable. We might know the laws, but we often can't gather or compute the information needed to use them beyond a certain point. Does this mean the universe isn't deterministic after all? Or just that it's too complex? Well, when it comes to chaos, all is not lost because even though in practical terms, systems like the double pendulum, weather, and turbulent fluid flow are unpredictable, they are unpredictable because we cannot measure the tiniest variations in initial conditions, which subsequently lead to big changes in their behavior over time. But in theory, if we had perfect information or perfectly precise measurement tools, all these systems would be predictable because they're rooted in deterministic physics equations. So the future behavior of macro scale phenomena like these and many others are predictable in principle. We just need perfect information. Now, we may never have infinitely perfect information, but if we have near perfect information, which quite likely is possible in the future, we might not be able to predict the weather years in advance, but we could, for example, predict the weather a month or even several months in advance. This, in my opinion, will happen. And the same thing goes for most other phenomena, which are also rooted in deterministic physics. But the monkey wrench in predictability comes from something else. Regular viewers of my channel will be familiar with this, which comes from the realm of the very small. You guessed correctly, it's quantum mechanics. If classical physics was our shiny Clark work, where everything seemed predictable, in principle, quantum physics is the twist that changed the story. Experiments in the early 20th century showed that at microscopic scales, nature behaves differently. In quantum mechanics, you can't predict exact outcomes, only probabilities. This isn't because we're missing details, though some have argued that we are. More on that in a moment. It appears to be a fundamental feature of the universe as we know it. As one of the founders of quantum mechanics, Niels Bohr said, in quantum mechanics, we can only predict probabilities for measurement outcomes rather than the outcomes themselves. The outcomes are not determined, so quantum mechanics is indeterministic. In plain language, you can set up an experiment with an atom or electron exactly the same way each time, and you'll get different results in a random pattern. We can calculate the odds of each result with incredible accuracy, but we cannot say this is definitely what will happen next. A famous example is radioactive decay. Say you have a bunch of unstable atoms. We can measure a half-life, the time by which half of them will have decayed on average. And that prediction is very reliable for a large group of atoms. But what about a single atom? When will that one decay? Quantum mechanics says we have no way to know. It could go in the next second, 
or linger on for years. In fact, as scientists often note, the moment when an individual atom will decay is completely random. It's impossible to predict when any given atom will break down. There's no hidden timer we've found. The best we have is a probability curve. This kind of fundamental randomness is like a built-in limit on predictability. Another quantum principle, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, says you can't even know certain pairs of properties with unlimited precision at the same time, like a particle's position and momentum. If you can't know them exactly now, you can't plug them into an equation to predict the future exactly either. Even if we had Laplace's demon's ambition, quantum physics throws up a roadblock. The demon couldn't get perfect data to start with because the act of measuring something, like an electron's position, disturbs its momentum and vice versa. So the demon's initial perfect knowledge is not possible. It gets even weirder. Quantum mechanics, at least in its standard interpretation, says a particle doesn't even have a definite position or outcome until you measure it. It exists in a sort of superposition of possibilities. We can call it a wave of probability. The Schrodinger equation in quantum mechanics actually does let us predict how this wave of probability evolves over time. So that part is deterministic in a mathematical sense. We can predict the future state of the wave function exactly. But when we actually observe a result, the wave function collapses to a single outcome. And which outcome we get is inherently random. So if you ask, where will this electron hit the screen if I shoot it through a double slit? Physics can only give you a probability distribution. You'll know the pattern after many electrons, but you can't predict where any one electron will land. In other words, nature at its core, as far as we currently understand, is probabilistic, not deterministic. Now, some physicists had a big problem with this idea, most notably Albert Einstein, who famously said, God does not play dice with the universe. He suspected maybe our theory was incomplete, that perhaps there are hidden variables underneath the quantum randomness. And if we knew those hidden details, maybe we could predict every quantum event like clockwork. This led to ideas like superdeterminism, which basically says maybe everything, including our own choice of what to measure, were predetermined all along. It could not have been any other way. It's a bold idea. It would return us to determinism by eliminating true randomness. However, so far, there's no experimental evidence of these hidden variables that everyone agrees on. In fact, experiments in something called Bell's theorem have demonstrated that no local hidden variable theory can reproduce all the outcomes observed in quantum mechanics. This means that you cannot explain quantum outcomes by assuming there's some predetermined hidden information stored within particles or their immediate surroundings. In plain terms, if there are hidden gears making the universe deterministic, they'd have to be non-local hidden variables. This would be really strange, like particles influencing other particles faster than light. Or particles would need to be intertwined with everything in the universe in a kind of a conspiracy theory way. Most physicists currently accept that quantum events have an irreducible randomness to them. So where does that leave us? At the smallest scales, physics equations give us probabilities, not certainties. The future, at least in the quantum realm, can't be predicted with 100% accuracy. Only the odds can be calculated. This is a fundamental limit in the known laws of physics. But hold on a minute. Notice that I said known laws of physics because there's a big caveat here. You can absolutely conclude from what I just said about quantum mechanics that the universe is fundamentally unpredictable. That sorry, Dr. Einstein, but the universe does play dice with the universe but not so fast. Because you see, here's the problem. Everything we know about quantum mechanics is based on our interpretation of what we think quantum mechanics is really trying to say. Even the idea of probability is based on our interpretation of the wave function. It is the norm squared of the wave function. No one knows exactly why probability emerges from the square of the wave function rather than some other mathematical meaning. We accept this to be correct because it is exceptionally accurate in matching experimental outcomes and making predictions. 
This probability is an observable phenomenon, but the underlying wave function itself is a mystery, or at least there's no consensus by physicists on what it physically represents. What you should know is that the wave function itself is not observable, not even in principle. The meaning behind it is based on interpretation. It's a complex mathematical object. If you buy the Copenhagen interpretation, which is what's most commonly taught in beginning quantum mechanics courses, then it is just something that contains information. If you buy the many worlds interpretation, then it's physically real, representing multiple branches of reality. If you buy the pilot wave theory, it is physically real and guides real particles. What I'm trying to say is that the true nature of quantum mechanics is subject to debate and some philosophical judgment. Our current understanding is that it is fundamentally probabilistic and certain aspects of it are not predictable. That indeed God does appear to play dice with the universe. But I want to leave you with this. Just because quantum phenomena largely cannot be predicted in advance, meaning that just because we can't predict behavior of individual atoms and electrons and other small-scale objects, it does not mean that macro-scale phenomena are also unpredictable. Quantum effects typically become negligible at everyday scales due to a phenomenon called decoherence, where interactions with the environment cause quantum systems to lose coherence or their quote-unquote quantumness and become classical. As I stated earlier, things like planetary orbits, solar eclipses, and tides are completely predictable years and decades in advance because they're based on deterministic physics, where quantum effects are negligible. But I would argue that other phenomena that we consider chaotic today, such as the weather, the stock market, and even group behavior, such as presidential elections, are also predictable in principle because they're also based on deterministic physics. There are two things we need to make better, longer-term predictions in these areas. We need a mathematical model that takes into account all the variables that affect these phenomena, and we need more perfect information to model the initial conditions. Even though we don't have all these tools today, in my opinion, I predict that we will have these tools within the next five years. Now, don't forget to click the link in the description to get the special discount CyberGhost VPN is giving to our channel users. This application will protect your data while you browse and give you full access to all block content on the internet for only $2.03 a month, totally risk-free. So check it out. Again, the link is in the description below. I'll see you in the next video, my friend.